ಹಾಯ್ ಹಲೋ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಮೀಟ್ ಸರ್ಚಿಲ್ರಿಗೆ ಸ್ವಾಗತ ಆತ್ಮೀಯ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳೇ ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ಜನ ಮಕ್ಕಳು ನೈನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ರಿಲೇಟೆಡ್ ಒಂದು ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಅನ್ನ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಹೇಳಿ ಅಂತೇಳಿ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಈ ಒಂದು ವಿಡಿಯೋದಲ್ಲಿ ನೈನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ನ ಒಂದು ಮಾಡಲ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಹೇಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಯಾವ್ಯಾವು ಮತ್ತೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಗಳು ಯಾವ್ಯಾವು ಅನ್ನೋದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಈ ಒಂದು ವಿಡಿಯೋದಲ್ಲಿ ಸಂಕ್ಷಿಪ್ತವಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ ಅನ್ನ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗೋಣ ಮಕ್ಕಳ ಈಗಾಗಲೇ ನಿಮಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಿರೋ ಹಾಗೆ ನೈನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಏನಿದೆ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಬೇಸ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಟೆನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ನ ಪ್ಯಾಟ್ರನ್ ಮೇಲೆ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಅನ್ನ ಪ್ರಿಪೇರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಸೊ ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ಗೆ ತ್ರೀ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಮ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಇನ್ನು ರಿಮೈನಿಂಗ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಒಂದಷ್ಟು ಅಸೈನ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಅನ್ನು ಅಥವಾ ಬೇರೆ ಒಂದು ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟೀಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಕಂಡಕ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಬಿಟ್ಟು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ನ ಫಿಲ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾರೆ ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಆದರೆ ಇನ್ನು ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಆ ಒಂದು ಏಯ್ಟಿ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ನ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಪ್ಯಾಟರ್ನ್ ಹೇಗೆ ಏನು ಅನ್ನೋದ್ರ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಈ ಒಂದು ವಿಡಿಯೋದಲ್ಲಿ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಸೈನ್ಸ್ ಇಂಗ್ಲಿಷ್ ಮೀಡಿಯಂ ನ ಚರ್ಚೆಯನ್ನ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗೋಣ ಬನ್ನಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮೇನ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇರುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಒಂದು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮೇನ್ ಮಲ್ಟಿಪಲ್ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಏಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ದು ಆ ಒಂದು ಏಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ಸ್ ಯಾವೆಲ್ಲ ಇದಾವೆ ಅವಕ್ಕೆ ಆನ್ಸರ್ಸ್ ಏನು ಅಂತೇಳಿ ನೋಡ್ತಾ ಹೋಗೋಣ ಮೊದಲನೇ ಪ್ರಶ್ನೆ ಹೀಗಿದೆ ಮೊಹಮ್ಮದ್ ಬಿನ್ ತುಗ್ಲಕ್ ಗೇವ್ ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ನೇಮ್ ಟು ಹರ್ ನ್ಯೂ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದೌಲತಾಬಾದ್ ಫತೇಪುರ್ ಸಿಕ್ರಿ ಫೈಜಿಯಾಬಾದ್ ಇಸ್ಲಾಮಾಬಾದ್ ಎಸ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಎ ದೌಲತಾಬಾದ್ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಸರ್ಕಮ್ ನ್ಯಾವಿಗೇಟ್ ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ದ ಫೋರ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ಯಾಬ್ರಲ್ ಬಾಲ್ಬೋವಾ ಫರ್ಡಿನೆಂಡ್ ಮೆಗಲನ್ ಬಾರ್ತಲೋಮಿಯಾ ಡಯಾಸ್ ಸೊ ಅಮಾಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಸ್ ಫರ್ಡಿನೆಂಡ್ ಮೆಗಲನ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಸಿ ಫರ್ಡಿನೆಂಡ್ ಮೆಗಲನ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಸರ್ಕಮ್ ನ್ಯಾವಿಗೇಟ್ ದ ಅರ್ತ್ ಸೊ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಎಂಬ್ಲಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ is opted from dash saranatha stupa the four options are amogavarshas mayuravarmas ashokas chandraguptas the right answer is ashokas ashokas saranatha stupa option c right answer let's move on to question number 4 school is a dash for cooperative life ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಎ ಹೆಲ್ಪಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಬಿ ಸರ್ವಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಅಮಾಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಡಿ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ರೈಟ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಸ್ಕೂಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಕೋ ಆಪರೇಟಿವ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಫಿಫ್ತ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಮದರ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಇಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಡ್ಯಾಶ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ ಎ teacher a school trust culture yes the right answer is option b school is the right answer let's move on to sixth one karnataka's place in the production of jowar dash third second fourth fifth the right answer is option b second karnataka stands jowar production in the second position Question number 7. The currency of Japan. Yen, dollar, pound, China. The right answer is yen. Option A, yen is the right answer. The currency of Japan is yen. Question number 8. Which of the following is the act of fixing a symbol or some letter to a product to distinguish it from the other products of others option a insurance option b branding option c grading option d storage the right answer is option b branding okay uh, dear students these are the eight multiple choice questions so based on the 10 standard eight multiple choice question first main let's move on to second main answer the following questions in a sentence total eight questions each one carries 
one mark. Total eight marks. Among that, question number one followed by question number nine. Who is the proponent of Advaita philosophy? Advaita philosophy. The answer is Shankaracharya. The proponent of Advaita philosophy, Shankaracharya. Question number ten. What is the main principle of Guru Nanak's teaching? Guru Nanak preached that God was one and he emphasized good actions and pure moralistic life. Question number 11. Which is the highest court of India? The highest court of India? Supreme Court. Question number 12. Define the concept of a city. A city is the Permanent settlement of people having high population density and a variety of social strata. Next question, question number 13. Name the waterfalls formed by river Sharavati. Yes, the answer is Jog Falls. Question number 14. Which district of Karnataka is known as Manchester? Yes, the answer is Davanagare. Question number 15. What is positive change? Any change that have positive impacts on structure, policy or growth of an economy is called positive change. This last first one word answer. Question number 16. What is management? It is the process of getting predetermined things done through others by directing their efforts in an integrated and coordinated objective of business is called as management. So these are uh, eight one mark questions. Each one carries one mark, total eight marks. Let's move on to third man. Third man, so answer the following questions in two or uh, four sentences each and it will be Total 8 questions, each one carries 2 marks. Total 16 marks. So here is question number 17. Name the books written by Ramanujacharya. The answer is Ramanujacharya wrote Vedanta Sangraha, Vedanta Sara, Vedanta Deepika, Sri Bhashya, and in his famous work Gita Bhashya, he Emphasized the importance of devotion. Let's move on to next question. Question number 18. Justify Ramananda popularized worship of Rama and Sita. Ramananda established a Vaishnava religious school based on love and devotion. He traveled to several places in North India and popularized the worship of Rama and Sita. Varanasi was his headquarters. He condemned a caste system and allowed people from every caste to join his sect. Let's move on to question number 19. Write a note on electoral roll. Yes, the answer is the voters list is the list which contains the names and certain other details of the voters. It is also called the electoral roll. The electoral roll is prepared by the election commission much before the elections. Electoral roll is revised every year. At the time of revision, the names of those who have attained the age of 18 are included and the names of the dead are deleted. The electoral role helps the polling officials to identify the voters. So here question number 19 it has a choice. So the choice question is what are the aims of NCC? The aims of NCC are to develop among the students a sense of discipline, leadership qualities, friendliness and service mindness. It is a body of disciplined and trained youth force which comes to the rescue of 
the nation during emergencies. Let's move on to question number 20. Name the different kinds of families. Patriarchal family, matriarchal family, modern nuclear family, undivided family. And question number 20, it has an option. The option question is, what is the role of religion in socialization? The answer for this, religion also plays an important role in socialization. Religion provides a fundamentation. Religion provides a foundation of ideals to social life. It preaches a life of morality. Children observe parents, elders and relatives visiting places of worship. They participate in pujas, festivals, fairs and other religious celebrations. They learn religious practices. Through these, they develop an interest in social service, charity, etc. So let's move on to question number 21. Kodugu is known as Kashmir of Karnataka justify. The answer for this, Kodugu district is known as the Kashmir of Karnataka because of its cool weather. Question number 22. Name the places of historical importance in Karnataka. They are at Hampi, Belur, Halay Beach, Sumanathpur, Badami, Pattadakal, Aihule, Golgumbas of Vijayapura, Lakkundi, Banavasi, Basaralu, Balli Gave, Mysuru, Sri Ranga Patana, etc. This question number 23. List the disadvantages of division of labor. Yes, the disadvantages of division of labor. Monotony of work, lack of responsibility, increased dependence, unemployment, class conflict. Yes, question number 24. What is individual decision and what is collective decision? First, individual decision. In a, in a small business organizations like sole trading concerns, it is the individual who takes the decision. They are called individual decisions. These decisions are based on the capability of individual. Collective decision, decision making by a group of people as in the case of partnership firms and board of directors. As in the case of joint stock companies or cooperative societies are called group decisions. Here a number of people take part in taking a decision. Okay, uh, students, uh, these are two marks question. Total eight two marks questions. Each one carries two marks. Total 16 marks. So let's move on to three mark questions. So answer the following in uh, five to six sentences each. Total there will be a nine three marks questions. Each one carries three. Total 27 marks. So here is Question number 25. Lays down the teachings of Jesus Christ. The teachings of Jesus Christ are He told people to imagine God as their father. He also told that all human beings were children of the God. He advocated universal brotherhood. He told people to shun hypocritical religious practices. He advised people to repent for their sins and seek forgiveness from the God. He asked people to do unto others what they wanted others to do to them. He equated service to man with service to God. And here uh, the first question, it has choice. So choice question is, List down the teachings of Judaism. Okay, the teachings are believe in one God, belief in the messenger of God, a holy book written by messenger. The community should follow the specific do's and don'ts of the messenger. 
mass prayer to be conducted in a specific place. Question number 26. What were the contributions of Rajputs in the field of literature? A great poetic works like Gita Govinda of Jayadeva, Kiratarjaneya of Bharavi, Ramanavada of Bhartruhari, Kavya Mimamsa of Mahendra Pala were written in this period. Dramas like Bala Ramayana and Karpura Manjari of Rajashekara, Mahavira Charita and Uttara Ramacharita of Bhavabhuti, historical works like Raja Tarangini of Kalhana, Prithvi Raja Vijaya of Jayanika and Kumara Pala Charita of Hemachandra are the significant works of this period. Prithvi Raja Raso was written by Chand Bardai and Boja Prabandha was written by Ballada. And even this question also it has the choice. The choice question is what are the administrative reforms of Alauddin Kilji? The administrative reforms of Alauddin Kilji. Alauddin Kilji brought about many reforms in the administration. He abolished religious endowments, inams, land and subsidy. He established efficient intelligence network. He abolished a consumption of alcohol, drugs and gambling. He also banned social gatherings of his lieutenants. Their socialization with the public and inter-caste marriages. He directed his lieutenants to collect heavy tax from the public. Next question. Question number 27. What were the reasons for geographical explorations? The reasons for geographical explorations are when the Turks conquered the city of Constantinople in 1453, it opened the trade gates between the east and west. Spain and Portugal were ambitious in competing with Arabs in sea trade. Discovery of new countries opened the possibility of spreading Christianity. European curiosity was aroused by adventurous nature of sea voyage towards eastern countries. Mariner compass and astrolabe equipment were helpful to sailors. Charts and maps were available to sailors. Europeans believed that China was a fertile place to make profit. Even this question it has a choice. The choice question is describe the effects of industrial revolution. The effects of industrial revolution are due to the innumerable changes in industries, demand for machine, machines grew, many changes took place in the economic and social fields too. New factories were established. The cost of production came down and essential products were available at a low price. Cottage industries could not compete with the GAN factories and thus they collapsed. The rich become richer and the poor remained poor. People had to migrate from villages to towns. A capitalist class emerged in society. Hostilities developed between the owners and the workers. And class conflict began. So that's next move on to question number 28. What are the qualifications needed to a, become a member of Lok Sabha? The qualifications needed to become a member of the Lok Sabha are should be a citizen of India, must not be less than 25 years of age, should not hold any office of profit under the government, should not be a person of unsound mind, should not have been punished under law, should possess qualifications as specified by parliament from time to time. Even this question it has a choice. The choice question is, write a short note on chief minister. The chief minister is head of the state government. Success or failure of the state government depends on his personal charm. He is the repository 
of all the power of the state. He is the head of the council of ministers, the legislature and the leader of the majority party in the government. The chief minister should be a member of any one of the two houses, even though who are not member of either house can become the chief minister. However, he has to become the member of any one house within six months. So let's move on to question number 29. List out features of rural community. So there are many features are there. So out of that, if you have written six is enough. Small community, harmonious relationships, social unity, informal system of control, prominence of undivided families, prominence of agriculture, influence of nature, influence of neighborhood, simplicity, increased religious involvement, traditional opinions, widespread caste system, illiteracy, poverty, etc. And even this question, it has a choice. The choice question is, what are the problems of rural communities? The problems of rural communities are agricultural problems, problems related to cottage industries, illiteracy, poverty and unemployment, lack of proper health facilities, lack of civic amenities. So these are the problems of rural communities. Let's move on to question number 30. Bauxite ore is called wonder metal justified. Answer for this, manganese ore is mainly found in oxide form in sedimentary and metamorphic rocks. It is used as an alloy in the manufacture of steel to increase its hardness. It is also used in the manufacture of chemicals, electrical industry, chemical fertilizers, calico printing and paints. Hence, it is known as the jock of all traders. Next, this 30th question, it has a choice. So, the choice question is, tra road transport is very important justify. Answer for this, a large number of people live in rural areas in Karnataka. So, road transport occupies a very important role in linking the villages and towns. Roads can be constructed easily at low cost. People and goods can be transported to every corner of the state. Development of roads determines the progress of the states, agriculture, industry, mining and commerce. So next question number 31. What are the advantages of tours? Answer for this. See places read books is a power proverb. People travel for curiosity or religious celebrations or peace of mind or relaxation. To see pictures, cue places. Seeking happiness or improving health. Tourism has become an inevitable part of the human life today. We gain knowledge about the place, culture, civilization and lifestyle etc. Let's this it has the question question number 31 it has a choice question so the choice question is mention the industrial reasons of Karnataka the industrial reasons of Karnataka are Bengaluru, Kolar, Tumakuru industrial reason Belagavi, Dharwad reason Dakshin Kannada and Udupi reason Ballari, Raichur, Koppal industrial reason Mysuru Mandya industrial reason. So next question number 32. Identify the differences between distinguished unemployment and seasonal unemployment. So first uh, disguised unemployment. It is a situation of unemployment with surplus manpower than actual requirement and in which the marginal productivity of some workers are zero. So even a removal of, the, uh, of them will not affect the volume of total production. It is also called under employment of labor. For example, suppose four persons are working in a family farm which is properly organized of organized and if two more workers are employed on the same farm, 
and if there is no change in output. So this is disgust unemployment. Second one, seasonal unemployment. Some occupations of agriculture and industries are seasonal in nature. They offer employment for only a certain period of time in a year. People engaged in such a type of work or activities may remain unemployed during the off season. This is called seasonal unemployment. Even this question, it has a choice. Question number 32. 32, it has a choice. The choice is explain the differences between static and dynamic economics. First about uh, static economy. The word static has been derived from the Greek word statike. Statike means stand still. In economics, it refers to a situation which witness absolutely no changes. Static economy is a timeless economy where there, is, there are no changes at all. The fundamental factors of the economy like size of population, availability of capital, methods of production, nature of organization and people's wants remain static without any alteration. Hence, economic development remains stunted. Dynamic economics. The word dynamic has, has been derived from the Greek word dynamikos. It refers to drastic changes or continuous change. Dynamic economics is the study of the variations that take place in an economy. It analyzes the process of change that takes place from time to time in an economy. In a dynamic economy, the size of population, availability of capital, methods of production, nature of organization and people's wants keep on changing continuously. The economic development varies from year to year. So next question number 33. What are the functional areas of management? The functional areas of management are planning, organizing, staffing, directing, coordinating, controlling. So here, uh, question number 33, it has a choice. The choice question is, what is a spot market and how it is different from capital markets? So answer for this spot market. In this type of market, Goods are sold to the buyers on the spot where the sellers agree to sell their products and buyers agree to buy uh, them for consideration. Capital market, it is a specialized market for availing long-term finance to business houses generally through financial institution and stock exchanges. Yes, uh, next main that is uh, four more questions. Answer the following in uh, eight or ten sentences each. There will be a four four mark questions. Each one carries four marks, total sixteen marks. Among that, question number thirty four, question number one, four mark question number one, question followed by thirty four. What were the problems of Krishna Devaraya had to face when he? ascended the throne. The answer for this, when he came to power, the kingdom faced various complicated internal and external problems. The Europeans who had arrived through new sea route established their colonies. The Mughals of the north tried to expand their empire in the south. The five Shahi kingdoms of Bahumani dynasty became powerful sultanates and plunged into wars with Krishna Devaraya. In addition to these, the kings of Ummatturu and Varissa were constant source of threat. Even this question, it has a choice. The choice question is, compare and contrast the present day administrative system with that of Sher Shah. Answer for this, Sher Shah was an able administrator. His administrative reforms are notable. The present administrative system in India has adopted many aspects of Sher Shah's system. Among that, central and provincial administration. He divided his vast empire into different sarkars, sarkars into paragara, paraganas and paraganas into villages. The present day ad, uh, Indian administrative system has adopted 
this is a system of decentralization second one land revenue system in those days land revenue was the major source of revenue in addition to land revenue many other revenue sources were in force but today we are getting more income from other sources rather than land revenue police administration third one Sher Shah introduced a police system to look after internal law and order and to maintain peace even today we are having good police force to maintain law and order to lead peaceful life fourth one roads he was the first emperor who understood importance of national highways the present government of india is giving more importance to for transport and communication uh, fifth one religious policy though he was a muslim he was uh, tolerant towards other other religious present indian constitution it has been declared that india is a secular state so this is about the choice question 34 so let's move on to question number 35 what was the role of garibaldi in italy's unification answer garibaldi was a soldier and fighter he joined the young italy army and assumed a leadership of the revolution after that he constituted an army called red brigade and with the help of sardinia fought with austria in 1860 he fought against the twin states of sicily using his red brigade by conquering the same he has turned the national integration and pressed for democratic reforms so let's move on to question number 36 explain the salient feature of our indian constitution so the salient features of indian constitution are written and lengthy constitution flexible and rigid constitution parliamentary form of government republican system federal system fundamental rights fundamental duties directive principles of state policy independent and centralized judiciary system single citizenship adult franchise bicameral legislature party system yes uh, the question number 37 briefly explain about types of cultivation this is from geography the question the types of cultivation are classified according to these factors they are subsistence farming irrigation farming dry farming mixed farming shifting cultivation commercial farming plantation farming so crops grown by using water from canals tanks or wells is called irrigation farming paddy and sugarcane are the main crops under this farming cultivation of crops which depends upon rain is called as dry farming example ragi jowar oil seeds the cultivation of few annual crops on large estates for the purpose of earning money is called plantation farming for example coffee tea rubber cocoa etc crops that are grown not for the domestic market but also for the international market come under commercial farming example tobacco cotton jute etc the crops which are grown by the farmers for home consumption not for uh, the market is called subsistence farming uh, so this is an ancient type of cultivation nowadays a mixed type of farming is gaining popularity in addition to growing crops dairy farming silk worm rearing sheep rearing poultry bee keeping fishery are taken up and it is called mixed farming and yes students the last main draw an outline map of karnataka and point out the names so this draw map of karnataka and location it is for 5 marks to draw a map a given map for one mark to locate four places you will get four marks total 1 plus 4 5 marks so here are the places avrad gataprabha nadi or river champion reef the deepest gold mandya industrial region so here is avrad taluk and this place it is gataprabha nadi or gataprabha river and the champion reef that is look located in kgf kola and next mandya industrial region so these are the places okay students so you have to be follow here then i have not mentioned about the proper lessons because of the reason is 
it's not like just a 10 standard 10 standard pattern but as per not as like blueprint you know on thunder 10 standard over here blueprint that the idea lessons in the name idea questions and a care about the one that our cash here at the based on the blueprint but nine standard it is not like blueprint so even the entire two part to go in the no put us here condo yell because the questions are not clearly how cash here at the so that i have not mentioned any lessons important lessons no put a mention model just it is an one of the model question paper so i have uh, detailedly given the answers for one of the model question paper related to this if you are having any doubts you can comment in the comment box i will solve your doubts and i will come up with next video other information so until keep watching my channel thank you have a nice day see you in the next session bye bye take care